Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, this is all of the gifts that I am using. I went ahead and got this cute little journal from Costco. I thought it'd be a great addition for my crates. And aside from this, this is all the materials that I am using. So let's get on to the video. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is go ahead and grab this wooden stick and this robe and kind of measure and see how high I want it cut. Once I get that, I'll go ahead and mark both of them and start cutting them. This is the first time that I am using this material and this tool, so please don't come at me. I am pretty sure I'm doing this incorrectly, but I got the job done, so I am happy about that. Once it has been cut, you kind of want to just put them up and see how short you want to cut the other stick, just like I'm doing here, and I will also go ahead and cut. Then I'll go ahead and grab my glue gun. I am using Gorilla Glue Sticks. Um, it is strong bond for wood, so that is what I'm using. A lot of people use the E6000 glue, however, I just thought this was easier. So I'll go ahead and glue this down. I put the ugly side that I cut at the bottom so you couldn't see it up top. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing at the top. And this crate box actually had a wide open space at the bottom, so I just went ahead and grabbed a piece of box and cut it down to fit it right inside so the gifts would not come out. And as I was putting down the tissue paper, I noticed that my box was going to look very, very simple. So I grabbed some curling ribbon, some gray curling ribbon, and just kind of placed it around the entire wood pieces to kind of just give it a little more color um, so it wouldn't look as simple. And I went ahead and did this to the top and the bottom. So at the bottom, I did things a little different. Um, I kind of wanted to twirl it just like I did at the top, but it was going to be hard. So I just decided to cut some pieces just like this and kind of put them around the box. So once it is done, it looks a little something like this. Again, I wanted to keep it very neutral, um, so I stuck with gray. And now I will go ahead and add my stickers. I got these from Michaels as well. I also decided to add a little gift for the mother. Um, here it is, just a gift card and some things from Target. And that is it, here's the finale. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is a gender neutral baby shower gift. So I try to keep it very gray, very, very simple but cute. And here at the bottom is where I hid the gift for mother. And that is it. Please let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time and you guys have a great day.